Good Tuesday morning, South Florida. Unfortunately, Hurricane Maria has re-intensified. We just got an update from the National Hurricane Center. Hurricane Hunter is going in and finding that the max sustained winds have increased to 160 miles per hour, and now Maria is back to a Category 5. This is a massive, dangerous, destructive hurricane. It did make landfall across uh, Dominica, Dominica, and it is continuing to move towards the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Rico as of course we are keeping all of the Caribbean islands in our thoughts here right now moving to the west northwest nine miles per hour located 65 miles west southwest of Guadalupe and forecast to maintain that cat five strength because it's really over very warm waters and low wind shear the environment favorable for it to stay strong at category four likely as we head into Wednesday when it could be passing near over the Virgin Islands could be making a direct landfall around Wednesday early in the morning or midday across Puerto Rico and then likely making its closest approach to Dominican Republic Thursday and still cap four as we head into Friday Saturday as it could be impacting the Turks and Caicos Southeast Bahamas and seeing that forecast cone is to the east of Florida but we'll have to closely watch Maria as you can see looking back at the history of major hurricanes that have developed across this region this is where the paths have led and that's the reason why there's a lot of uncertainty as to what could happen as we head into the weekend. However, as we look at the guidance models, most of them in agreement that Maria will follow along that same path of the forecast track that we just saw from the Hurricane Center. Most of the models are keeping Maria to the east of Florida. Nonetheless, we can't let our guard down just yet. We do have hurricane warnings and watches in place for the Leeward Islands, for the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and now hurricane watches and tropical storm watches for Hispaniola. Here's Hurricane Jose, which is still hanging on uh, as a tropical entity, although right now it's not looking that impressive on the satellite. Moving to the north at nine miles per hour and forecast to move to the east and then the northeast and do a loop around. So tropical storm by Thursday and then a depression likely into the weekend. It looks like it'll be meandering just offshore here. And the New England areas, even parts of the northeast under tropical storm warnings and watches, they'll be dealing with some very heavy rain, gusty winds, almost like a nor'easter. So but Jose is actually going to possibly be impacted impacting when Maria takes that turn. Right now we have blocking high pressure that's steering Maria, but Jose is providing for a little bit of a break in that block, a weakness, if you will, that would allow Maria to take that turn to the north. So as for now, it looks like if Jose does stay here just offshore of New England, then that's the reasoning behind that forecast, taking it to the east of the Bahamas, possibly. For us locally, we are mainly dry and quiet. We just had a shower earlier in Pompano Beach, waking up to to a light calm conditions in terms of the winds. Temperatures right now warm upper 70s, low 80s, and highs will climb to the low 90s today with plenty of summer sunshine and spotty storms and high risk of rip currents at the beach. Keep that in mind. So your extended forecast is showing that we will continue with the summery pattern. Highs in the 90s with a mix of sun and storms. Friday and Saturday we'll be watching Maria. Friday the start of fall, but it'll still be quite warm and humid around here into the weekend. Let's